He is known for his significant contributions as a United States Army commander during World War II. He played a crucial role in formulating plans for the invasion of Normandy as a member of the War Planning Board. His name is General Albert Cody Wiedemeyer. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, General Albert Cody Wiedemeyer, a legendary figure whose contributions during World War II and the Cold War are unparalleled. Wiedemeyer's journey began as a key member of the War Planning Board, where he played a pivotal role in formulating plans for the D-Day invasion of Normandy. His expertise and strategic insights proved invaluable in shaping the course of the war. But Wiedemeyer's impact extended far beyond Europe. In 1944, he was appointed as Chiang Kai-shek's chief of staff in China, commanding all American forces in the region. Wiedemeyer's unwavering support for Chiang's fight against Mao Zedong showcased his staunch anti-communist stance. His efforts to bolster Chiang's struggle were recognized by President Truman, who sent him back to China in 1947 to provide a detailed report on the actions the United States should take. Wiedemeyer's influence continued into the Cold War era, where he became a chief supporter of the Berlin Airlift. This historic operation, aimed at providing essential supplies to the people of West Berlin during the Soviet blockade, relied on Wiedemeyer's strategic expertise and unwavering determination. His contributions ensured the success of the airlift and solidified his status as a military legend. General Albert Cody Wiedemeyer's remarkable career and unwavering dedication to his country make him a true legend in military history. From his crucial role in planning the D-Day invasion to his support of Chiang Kai-shek's fight against Mao Zedong, Wiedemeyer's impact on the course of history is undeniable. His unwavering commitment to defending freedom and democracy during the Cold War further solidifies his place in the annals of military greatness. General Wiedemeyer's legacy serves as an inspiration to future generations of soldiers and leaders, reminding us of the profound impact one individual can have on the world stage. In the late 1940s, Albert Wiedemeyer, now promoted to Army Chief of Plans and Operations, was sent by President Harry S. Truman to China and Korea to assess the political and military situations. Wiedemeyer's findings were compiled into what became known as the Wiedemeyer Report. The report highlighted the dire circumstances of the Chinese nationalist forces, who were better equipped but severely lacking in essential supplies such as ammunition, fuel, and spare parts. The promised aid through Lendlease had not been delivered, leaving Chang's troops to march on foot and scavenge for supplies. Wiedemeyer urgently recommended correcting these deficiencies and sending leftover equipment to China instead of destroying it. However, Truman, influenced by the meddling of Joseph Stilwell and George Marshall, rejected the recommendations in the report and imposed an arms embargo on the nationalist government. This decision intensified the political debate over the United States' role in the Chinese Civil War. Despite Secretary of State George C. Marshall's hopes for a nationalist-communist coalition, Truman supported the embargo and suppressed the publication of Wiedemeyer's report. This further fueled resentment among advocates on both sides and within the U.S. government and armed forces. After completing the report, Wiedemeyer assumed command of the 6th United States Army in San Francisco. He felt disconnected from further military policymaking and the events that followed the fall of China to communist forces. Wiedemeyer testified before Congress, attributing the defeat of the nationalist Chinese forces to the loss of morale caused by Truman's decision to discontinue aid and the arms embargo. He emphasized that the presence of experienced American military advisors at lower levels could have improved the nationalist army's combat performance against the communists. Wiedemeyer's stance against the communist takeover of China led him to become associated with the China lobby. He openly criticized those he believed were responsible for the defeat and, after the outbreak of the Korean War, was praised by Senator Joseph R. McCarthy for his wise plan that was allegedly sabotaged. Wiedemeyer's contributions to the fight against communism earned him the respect of anti-communists, and he continued to give lectures across the country. In recognition of his distinguished career, Wiedemeyer received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Ronald Reagan in 1985. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.